pleasure and a privilege to meet friends from the media and I would like to thank each one of you today for sparing your valuable time and being with us for the interaction. On behalf of Indian Oil Tamil Nadu State Office, I extend a very warm welcome to all of you for this press meet. As you are aware, economy has been improving post-COVID and business activities have seen a positive uptrend. In the petroleum sector too, there have been a lot of developments with respect to our business processes and our product offerings. Indian Oil is India's largest fuel refiner and retailer and we have a huge responsibility to provide energy security to the nation. For Indian Oil, Tamil Nadu is an important market and an important state and we are constantly in investing in the state to improve the infrastructure and our product offerings as well as our services. In the next few years, Indian Oil has a committed investment of almost 54,000 crores in various projects in Tamil Nadu. Whether it is oil, whether it is gas, whether it is establishing infrastructure facilities, we will be investing close to about 54,000 crores in the next few years. I will share the details of these projects shortly with you. Indian Oil also carries on its shoulders the responsibility to ensure that we provide the nation with cleaner and greener fluids for a better environment. On this, we have aligned ourselves with India's net zero commitment by 2070, announced by our Honorable Prime Minister as part of the Panchamrit goals at the COP26 summit. Indian Oil has already resolved to achieve net zero operational emissions by the year 2046. This declaration by us calls for significantly higher level of investments and we are committed to do it. Indian Oil has been pursuing a robust green agenda to steer the country's transition to green energy. We are already working on several emission mitigation pathways like biofuels, renewables, green hydrogen, carbon offsetting through ecosystem restoration and carbon capture utilization and storage among various others. Indian Oil has achieved 10% ethanol blending with petrol in Tamil Nadu and Puducherry last year and we are working towards 20% ethanol blended petrol by 2025 in line with the Government of India mandate. Can we have the presentation please? 20 is 20% ethanol blended petrol. I am happy to say that in Tamil Nadu, Indian Oil has commissioned E20 fuel also. We have launched E20 in 26 petrol pumps as on date. And we have plans to add E20 in another 66 retail outlet by end of this financial year. Talking about compressed natural gas, the SATAT scheme, which is the Sustainable Alternative Towards Affordable Transportation Scheme of Government of India on CBG, it encourages entrepreneurs to set up CBG plants, produce and supply CBG to oil marketing companies for sale as automotive and industrial fuels. In Tamil Nadu, Indian Oil has issued 200 letter of intents for setting up of such CBG production plants. Our CBG brand is known by the name Indy Green. This was the first uh, yeah, this is the composed biogas uh, which is up and running commercially operating in Tamil Nadu which is one is IOTL which is in Namakkal, then Energy in Kadalu and Srinivasa Waste in Chennai from seven Indian oil retail outlets in Namakkal and two in Kadalu. This is the photograph of the our IOTL Namakkal bottling plant where the uh, raw material is the poultry waste from which compressed biogas is produced. And also uh, another byproduct is a fertilizer by the name of Aishwarya which is totally organic. And this is the uh, from where we deliver CBG to uh, vehicles. Uh, talking about CNG, Government of India aims to increase the use of natural gas from present 6.2% to 15% of India's primary energy basket by the year 2030. Indian Oil has been actively participating in MOPNG's bidding for allocation of geographical areas for city gas distribution and along with its associate and joint venture companies, we have won rights for 49 geographical areas and 105 districts in India. In Tamil Nadu, Indian Oil has won the rights of five geographical areas, which is spread across 11 districts of Tamil Nadu, which include Coimbatore, Salem, Madurai, Taini, Virdhunagar, Krishnagiri, Dharmapuri, Tutukurin, Kanyakumari, Tirnelveli, and Tenkasi. 
Indian Oil has already started issuing PNG connections in Coimbatore, a geographical area. And uh, we are currently operating 113 ROs with CNG station and plan to add another 122 this year in our geographical areas and 50 through other CGD companies, which are spread across the other geographical areas of Tamil Nadu. Uh, this is the first online CNG station of Indian Oil in Coimbatore. And this is the CNG dispensing uh, facility in a petrol pump. And we have also commissioned the CNC mother station. The mother station basically, in addition to receiving the, it will receive the product through pipeline and it will also load trucks and these gas cage will be sent to other stations. So those stations are called mother stations. In Tamil Nadu, we have also started blending biodiesel with diesel at uh, Shankari terminal. And very soon, we will also be starting from Asanur, which will be followed by Coimbatore. And we will also come in, in other locations in a phased manner. Thus, biodiesel has already been introduced in Tamil Nadu. Transportation fuel is LNG, liquefied natural gas. Now, liquefied natural gas always been used as industrial uh, purposes. Now, the, for the first time, uh, we will be introducing LNG for transportation, for heavy vehicles, namely buses and trucks. We are setting up dispensing stations across Tamil Nadu. This is the photo of the LNG dispensing station, which will be uh, fully operational very soon. This is in Sri Parambadur on the Chennai-Bangalore Highway. This is the dispensing unit, and this is the 56 kL LNG tank. This is one of the pilot trucks which is being filled with LNG from uh, the dispensing station in Sri Parambadu. Uh, the advantage of LNG is that once you fill a truck or a bus, it can travel up to 800 kilometers, 700 to 800 kilometers in one single fill. You need a second fill only after 700 to 800 kilometers. And especially for vehicles which are going long distances, it saves the number of uh, trips which they take into a filling station for fueling.